Turning now to two more mass shootings in America over this holiday period, we start in Philadelphia with an attack across four city blocks in the southwest part of the city. At least five people were killed. Two other people were injured, both of them children. Police say the gunman had an AR-style rifle and a handgun, and he is now in custody. Wakisha Bailey from our CBS News Philadelphia station has the latest. Wakisha, good morning. Good morning, Anne-Marie. While well, the youngest victim hurt by gun violence is only two years old. Now, Philadelphia's mayor says that he is horrified by this shooting, and he also says that his heart is with the loved ones and the families involved. But there's still one question that's not answered. That's why. This person decided to leave their home the and to target individuals. On the streets of southwest Philadelphia Monday night, police say a 40-year-old man opened fire, hitting at least seven people. Multiple shots fired. Get a use caution. We get multiple calls still coming out. Anybody coming in, five, six, and trust to use caution. They're still out there shooting. When police arrived at the scene, they could hear the gunshots ringing out. All units use caution. We got somebody with a long gun. Officers tracked down the alleged gunman and cornered him in an alley. He was taken into custody. We all wearing a bulletproof vest with extra magazines in there as well. Police say he was wearing a bulletproof vest with multiple rounds of ammunition in it, armed with an AR-style rifle and handgun. Officers arrested another person, but their connection to the alleged shooter is unclear. As victims were being shot, we have another person that we believe acquired a gun and returned fire in the direction of the shooter that we have in custody. The ages of the four victims killed range from 20 to 59. Police believe a fifth victim who was discovered dead in his home just after midnight is related to the shooting. Two children were injured, aged 2 and 13 years old. They were taken to a hospital. We're canvassing the area to get as much as we can to identify witnesses and do everything that we can to figure out the why behind this happening. And police have not identified the victims or released a possible motive. Meanwhile, as of Sunday, we are told by city records that there have been at least 212 homicides here in Philadelphia, and that's a 19 percent decrease as the same period as last year. Christina. Wakisha Bailey, thank you very much.